from Krima Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Royal Transport Consortium Gibela has unveiled the 100th Extrapolis mega commuter train it is building for Prasa. In 2013, Gibela signed a 53 billion rand contract to supply Prasa with 600 six car trains for its metro rail service. Krima Media's Sabrina Jadim tells us more. Transport Minister Fikile Mbalula commented that, while the local rail industry was hampered by the COVID-19 pandemic and supply chain issues, the industry is now able to move forward. Mbalula also noted that the 600 trains to be produced by Gibela is relevant for South Africa and for Africa as a whole. He explained that the African Union General Assembly mandated South Africa to build trains for the continent, primarily for the North-South Corridor. This is new state-of-the-art uh, trains that we supply even in other countries like Brazil and all of that. So we are on, we're on top of our game in terms of that. We've been hampered by issues of supply chain. We've been hampered by issues of COVID-19. Our, our, our envisaged capacity is 60 train sets per annum. And it tells you where will we be if we're not affected by that five months. But we're back on track, we have increased volumes of uh, production inside, inside there from three to six, you know, uh, train sets. Uh, so we, we're going to see a lot of trains uh, coming out of the factory. Prasa CEO David Mpelo said that the trains being produced by Gubela will provide economic benefits by creating jobs and enabling commuters to save money. However, he cautioned that rail infrastructure needs to be revitalized to be able to accommodate the trains. We need to, to hasten with our recovery project to recover the services so we can put these trains in. Kibela cannot produce this and we pack them into our yards. We've got to put them down. It does mean that we need to accelerate with our modernization projects as well in terms of the infrastructure. So we increase the, the, the frequencies uh, on the trips as well. The headway gets lesser and lesser and we are a lot more reliable and predictable. So, so that's what we're looking at. He added that there are security measures in place to ensure that both the infrastructure and commuters are protected. The trains have inbuilt technology to ensure the safety of passengers, whereby it can break itself if needed and the doors do not open while the train is moving. Being part of the, the, the reserve where people get hit by a train, that's a security thing, we need to look into that. But we're not only looking at, the, at that from a, an integrated security, boots on the ground and all those things. There are areas where we've identified hot spots of where these things happen. And we're going to wall that up, we're going to fence that up, we're going to include technology to monitor that as well. Gibela CEO Hector Denisa said Gibela's contract with Prasa includes achieving 65% localization with the production of the trains, with Gibela already having achieved 53%. He noted that should Gibela fail to achieve 65% localization, the company's contract with Prasa could be cancelled. The trains, the local content and the development of people, that's what we're about as, as Gibela. And those are prescripts that are in the contract we have with Prasa. In addition to producing the trains, Gibela is also supporting Prasa technically by training Prasa's train operators and maintenance team. We have a separate uh, division that basically works side by side with Prasa to train their train drivers to drive the train, um, certify them, they get a certificate from us. The same with their maintenance teams, that they must reach assistant power. So hence you find in all the five regions, Durban, Gauteng, Eastern Cape, Cape Town, wherever they are, we are there, there's two of us here. Because it's very much an integral part that they know how to maintain the train, and so we hand over that to them. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.